so yeah, so my daughter Laura fuming. You should take him for all his money, he's a fucking asshole. I was stinging for everything he's got, he's fucking shocking, it's shocking, it's shocking, you deserve more than that. My mum and dad, Keith and Sandra. That house put a lot more, you put wealth on that house. Because we had an extension and shit done, which is true, I did, but I don't care. So keep the house hung on, enjoy yourself rattling around in a big house by yourself. I'd rather live in a fucking town than eat fucking super noodles. See ya. So, <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> and then I was in rented accommodation and Frank and I used to come for three years every day and take Francesca to school. What? Well because when we were married that was his job. That was his job. He always did that. I didn't do the morning, so I know I mean but I didn't like going out in the morning, I work online and fat and I have a cup of coffees, I need cigarettes, I like the bug, I'm not a morning. I don't like the school and I hate the school in the morning. Bitches are out there, you're yakking on, I hate it. So, I was, she was eight when we got divorced. So just think about this, ladies and gentlemen. So I, for four years, my ex-husband had always took her to school. So that's okay, good. I always picked her up. I always did the after school run. Always did it, always, that was my job. So when I separated, that's okay. Why am I allowed to then, so bearing in mind, he used to have to travel from his house down to my house, take Francesca across the road to the school. <laughs> it actually took him a lot more effort to take her to school. I don't believe that women should be controlling the children. Why? That's not fair. It's not my child. It's our child. Okay? So what I did was, for three years, every day, the mother couple would turn up on the doorstep, morning, oh, I wanted to fucking slap me, I could have killed him, I hated looking at his face. But I chose to have the baby with him, so that's my problem, nothing to do with Francesca. But Laura, I show I think you still love him. Why? Because you're letting him, well, who the fuck lets the fucking man come to the fucking door every day for three fucking years? He's a fucking asshole. Da, 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 da. My mum said the same. Why are you letting him pick Francesca up? Well, because he's the dad. Jesus Christ. I can't help the fact that I married a fucking narcissistic vampire and you're all vampires as well and trying to make me feel shit for it. So this is all your problem. I'm being a respectful member of the community and showing ladies how it's done. I used to get grief at work and on, because he's a routine stickler. I've said this before for anyone who's paid attention to my stories. I could tell you now what day, a Thursday every day pays bills. Sam is at the bank, always puts £300 in. He's fitted his taxes for fucking 50 years. Anyway, so I, <laughs> I'm a gypsy. I'm just a happy-go-lucky. I never know where I'm going. I didn't even know I was going here today. Do you know what I mean? I'm not bothered. Any more laid back, I'm fucking horizontal. I like an easy life. I like varieties of spice of life. So, the girls at work used to say, I used to finish all the sleep down, so I'm finishing stuff, but I've got to go, front, uh, Dad's picking Francesca up. Oh, you, why do you always fit your life around him? I said, I'm not really. I says, he always does that on a Sunday, just leave him be. I says, that's what he does, I don't do that. I mean, I don't care. Why do you care? It's her fucking dad. So, anyway, this is a battle that I've been having in society with you fucking minions and maggots. You're all insane, mentally ill, narcissistic control freaks. And I just have to speak my truth and it can help people because I've lived it. I know what you're saying, guys, about these women manipulating your fucking kids. I know exactly what you're saying. I've had the same thing, except I'm a fucking woman. And then he's made me feel grateful. And he brainwashed Francesca with the money. She's a teenager. Guess what? You'll love this one, rich boys. He gave me £200 a month. Yes, that's what I said. You did hear me correctly. That's £50 a week. 5 0, not 500, not 5,000. 5 0 in UK money. Yes, I know. A week to feed, clothe, look after, sort out on my daughter. That's it. Yes, I know. Sit the folk down. I'll repeat it for the millionaires. £50. 
and he's made me feel like I should be grateful, like some put on pigeon feed for fifty pound. I didn't dare tell him I used to spend that on Domino's for a fucking night out. What he can't even go to the cinema for fifty quid. She's fourteen, or was fourteen. I used to go to Tesco, so I used to spend that on a full of three days worth of shopping. And then I had Francesca, because she's a narcissist, she's manipulated her, saying, well, you should respect my dad. He used to give me maintenance money. He used to give you, ma give me maintenance, more than maintenance money for me. It was for fucking you. Nobody used to give me, name me, Catherine, 50 pound a week. Okay, Francesca, who said this? Well, my dad said that, you know, he used to give me, 50, he always paid his maintenance, like 50 pounds, yes. I says, okay, we'll get this in perspective. I used to, on average, pay 12 to 1400 quid just to live a basic life. That's 1,500, say, a month, right? So yeah, okay, well done, Franco. Wow, let me kiss your feet. You're so funny, you're such a hero. And he paid 200 and I paid 1100 1400 1500 But in a debt, did all sorts of fucking shit. But I have to be grateful for 200 pound. Wow. Shit, man. Fucking hell. Uh, do you know what? I'm so pleased I've left. Because it, uh, this is why I'm normal now, because I'm not being surrounded by fucking innocent, narcissistic, controlled, fucking insane people. Making me feel shame and guilt for receiving £200 maintenance money, which <laughs> I mean, I have to stop thinking about what I'm saying, for his child. But he's giving it to me. It's not even for me. I didn't even wish to spend it on myself. Then I've been manipulated by Laura, the other, another artist is my Achilles heel, telling me, well, she's a bitch. Right, why? She used to have to be paid to have Eleanor, her own grandchildren, she would take money. Well, yeah, that, why did I do that, Laura? Do you want to tell everybody? Come on, curtains open, lights are on. Because they rate Robin stole from me so much. I couldn't afford to, I could only afford to feed me and Francesca this week. So I said I couldn't have her babysit while she goes and makes five grand shagging the Arabs down in London and meeting Mr. Elon Musk's fucking friends. So I said I can't have her. And she said, Why it's a weekend off? I know you can have her. Oh really, Miss Narcissist, I see what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying, Laura. Time's up, kid, bring it out. Bring out the snakes, how to smoke them out, how to get under a narcissist's skin. Say no. <laughs> they hate the word no. Anyway, she told the whole community that I got paid to have Eleanor. And that I was mentally ill. And I had so I was having another psychosis breakdown. And I needed to get locked up and phone the crisis team to so say I was psychosis again. But while she's saying that, I was babysitting Eleanor for four days. So come on guys, think about this. If I was mentally ill, psychosis, last time I was so bad, I went to France with Francesca for five days, she was six. So why are you leaving me with a four-year-old while you go and get shagged down London if I'm a danger to society, a danger to my grandchildren because I'm violent and dangerous and angry and I'm having a psychosis attack. But I'm, you're leaving me in charge of your child for four days. Okay, make it make sense, people. This is what I'm saying. So those warriors who are going through this, don't worry. Keep your integrity. Stand in your truth. And don't allow them to manipulate you and play on your empathetic heartstrings of your goodliness. Because that's what they do. I'm testimony to it. I've lived it, been it, seen it, tried it. Okay, I'm going to try it. I know I was right all the time. I didn't want to be right. So please, anybody who comes on my page and sees this today, don't you fucking dare. Oh, you were right, cat. I don't want to be right. That's the bane of my life. I, I'm right, yes. All right, hallelujah, I'm right. The devil's everywhere, great. Look at me, pat on the back, I'm right. Left with me and my cat because everybody's played in fox me. Great. So wonderful being right. How great it is to be right. 
Doing the right thing is the hardest thing, by the way. It's a fucker. Leaves you isolated and lonely. No one wants to stand alone and be right. I fucking do, and I always have. 45 years I've done this bullshit. I've always been alone and right. Okay. So now I'm right again as we call out the whole Illuminate and the whole Webbery of Bockery. All right, Charlesies. How's fucking Andrew doing? Say hi to the elite. I'm coming back from my fucking castle. Diana says hi.